Hey, what's up? This is the WBA middleweight champion of the world, Daniel Jacobs. Keep it here, keep it locked right here on Real Fans, Real Talk. Welcome to Real Fans, Real Talk. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is sure as hell not a participation trophy, it's ladies definitely and gentlemen. Not. Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world. And you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. A word around the campfire is you do a pretty good DMX impression. You feel like uh, doing that for us here on Real Fans, Real Talk? Y'all put me on the spot now. I can't talk. I can't, see, I can't even do it. You know what I mean? We'll, 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 we'll get you time to prep up a little bit towards towards the end. You know, compose yourself. I know you weren't expecting it. At the end of the interview. <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to come out. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Here with the biggest celebrity in the building and bowling for peace, Harlem's own Jim Jones. Welcome to the program, Jim. Thank you. Thanks for having me. How y'all feeling out there? All right. Now, you, you're famous for the song, Ballin', one of, one of your big hits, but I didn't know you could actually ball out there. You were doing your thing. Tell us about your performance. Uh, a little bit from Harlem. In Harlem, you, you grow up playing basketball. That's one of the... Uh, Prime, th prime time things to do when you go outside. So, you know, that's where that stems from. Who would you say was the uh, toughest uh, athlete to defend? Well, it's funny because it, I don't think it was a tough athlete. I think it was a combination. And I always say it was Carl Malone because he had Stockton. Uh, if Carl Malone was in the position, the ball was right there on time, you know, perfect position. Uh, Stockton goes to the bench and he wasn't the same play. He wasn't as hard to check. Yo, this is Teresa Weatherspoon, better known as Teaspoon, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. You're one of the pioneers of the WNBA back in 1997 when the league started with the New York Liberty. What was that feeling like, being there, one of the first to ever do it? Man, you know, this is it, it was amazing to, to play in Madison Square Garden. I'm sure it was amazing for all the other young ladies and the teams in which they played for, but we were playing in New York City. We were playing in Madison Square Garden. We were playing in front of the greatest fans there is in the world. For those of you that don't know how Shot for Shot works, we ask a series of five questions, two contestants, one judge, whoever the judge agrees with, gets the point. This is Vin Baker, you watching Real Fans, Real Talk. What was it like stepping out on the court? I'm sure you were a fan of some of the guys that you're playing against, maybe Michael Jordan, or what was that like being on the court with some of the guys as a teenager that you watched play? Terrifying. Uh, my, my first few times being on the floor with these amazing stars, you know, seeing Michael and seeing Patrick, Carl Malone, I was just in awe. Uh, but I had to get out of all really fast because they were kicking my butt in the first year. I'm gonna have my toughest MMA fight. Finish him. Excellent. Flawless. <laughs> 